Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hello. Hello, mm -hmm. me. Hello, Miss Rebecca. Welcome. Hello, Mr. Mauricio. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Good. What about you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Okay. Hello, Miss Sandra. Hello, Miss Elizabeth. Welcome. Hello. How are you, Miss? Fine, thanks. Nice. That's good. <clears throat> Okay, so let's wait a little bit for the other one. Hmm, I don't know where they are. Maybe they come in a little bit. Tal vez vienen unos segundos. El resto, I don't know where they are. Let me see. Mm -mm. <coughs> one second. So I'm gonna just text them real fast. Okay, so let's get started then because it's already two minutes and I don't know what happened to the other ones. Okay, vamos a iniciar eh, porque ya pues han pasado dos minutos, but anyways, let's get started with English for our program. This is basic module number four. Uh, my name one more time is Lisa Rosmina Alvarado Martinez and today it is Tuesday, October 18, 2022. We are going to continue. This is unit number uh, one. One more time, right? We are going to do that one. It's purchasing and storing. Um, so today we are going to continue talking about some features of products and also we are going to continue talking about some vocabulary and grammar as well. Okay, so basically today we are going to uh, use as well as yesterday's in um, uncountable and uncountable. Uncountable, I mean, countable and uncountable, and also they have to, I mean, has and have, okay, to express an obligation, okay, so. To a star, this activity is called Simon Says. So what are you going to do? I'm gonna, well, Simon no, is not Simon, it's going to be Miss Alvarado Says, okay? So yo le puedo dar algunas instrucciones y ustedes deberán de realizarlas. Hello, Mr. Francisco. Hello, Mr. Juan José. Hello, Miss Esmeralda. Hello. 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 Good evening. Welcome. Hello. Good evening. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Jorge. Hello, Miss Lady, too. Okay, now, what are we going to do? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Yo le puedo decir un, like, uh, it would be uh, like an instruction, and you would do the action. Van a hacer la acción de lo que yo les diga. Like, for example, como por ejemplo, uh, when in, this, in this case, it would be Miss Alvarado, right? Miss Alvarado says, touch your face. Touch your face. Ah, ok. ¿Y los demás? What happened, Mr. Jorge, Antonio, Esmeralda? Touch your face. Face, ajá. Touch your hair. Ajá. Miss Alvarado says, touch your mouth. 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 <laughs> Miss Sandra. Don't worry, that's okay. Nobody watching, just me. <laughs> uh, Miss Alvarado says, Show me a bottle of water. Show me a bottle of water. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, very good, Miss Elizabeth. Thank you, Mr. Juan Jose. Show me a bottle of water. Ah, very, wow. El galón, dijo lo mí. <laughs> That's okay, no problem. Uh, show me, show me a mouse, a mouse. Show me, show me a mouse. Ah, very good. <laughs> Miss Elizabeth, no ah, está pegado, Miss, ay, en la computer, ah, oh, I understand, no problem. Okay, Miss Alvarado says, show me, show me 
something yellow. Algo yellow. Yellow. Something yellow. Oh, very good, Michelle. Thank you. Very good, Miss Rebecca. Yeah, it's yellow. Very good, Mr. Mauricio. Very good, Miss Elizabeth. Thank you. <coughs> very good, Esmeralda. Lady Nothing. Oh, very good, Sandra. Very good, Juan Jose. Francisco, what happened? Con something yellow. And Jorge Antonio, something yellow. Ah, very good, Francisco. I can see it. The trapo. That's okay. That's okay. That's perfect. Let's see. Next one. Show me, show me something black. Black, black, black. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Uh huh. Very good. Mi Esmeralda, your shirt, your shirt. <laughs> it's black. That's perfect. Uh -huh, very good, Miss Lady. Yes, thank you. I saw, it. yeah, little bit. Hello, Kenya. Hello, Tania. Hello. Uh, uh, very good, Miss Esmeralda. Hello, Abigail. Okay. Show me, show me something white. Something white. White. Okay, very good, Miss. Uh huh. Miss Alvarado says, show me something. Ah, very good. Amazing. Thank you. Yes, very good. Okay, let's go and continue with the next activity. Okay, and thank you for doing that. Uh, it's a little bit of a start. Okay, now here. Oh, hmm. This one is um, an activity. It's called Last Word Respond. What are you going to do? I'm gonna say a, like a little, um, this phrase, voy a decir esa frase que aparece ahí al final, como la pueden ver. Yesterday I went to the market and I buy an apple. Entonces, pero yo voy a decir an apple, pero el resto van a tener que continuar y recordar lo que yo dije. Like this, por ejemplo, yo voy a empezar con mi Sandra. Mi Sandra, yo voy a empezar y usted va a repetir, mi fruta o mi objeto y después tú vas a agregar algo más. Después va Rebeca y así van a ir agregándole algo más y deben de recordar lo que todos dicen, ¿ok? Hasta el último. Vamos a ver, a ver si recuerdan. ¿Ok? Are you ready? Yes. Ok, let's start. Miss Sandra, yesterday I went to the supermarket and I buy juice. Continue. Yesterday. I went to the market and I buy um, and juice and milk. Oh, very good. Continue, please. Rebecca? Good evening. Yesterday I went to mm -hmm. the market and I buy um, juice mm -hmm. and milk and rice. And rice. Right. Uh, thank you. Continue, Michelle. Yesterday, I went to the market and I bought a juice, milk, rice, and a pineapple. Okay, pineapple. Continue, lady. <coughs> Yesterday, I went to the market and I buy juice, milk, rice, peanut. Pineapple. Pineapple, uh huh. And um, um, mango. Oh, delicious, Miss. Thank you. Continue, please, Jennifer. I mean, Kenya. Can you continue, please? Kenya? Okay. What about Juan Jose then? Okay, yesterday I went to the market and I'm buy an juice, milk, rice, pineapple, mm -hmm. mango, and orange. Yes, very good. Next one, continue, Mr. Jorge. <coughs> and yesterday I went to the market and I buy an uh, apple. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Apples? No, I didn't no, say no, apples. No, no, sorry, sorry. I buy juice, mm -hmm. milk, rice, pineapple, mango, mm -hmm. and I forget to the orange. No, orange. Uh -huh. And um, I don't know, cheese. 
cheese. Okay, continue, please. France, uh, no, it would be Esmeralda, please. Yesterday, I went to the market and I buy juice, milk, rice, apple, mango, orange, <laughs> orange, cheese, uh -huh. and sweet. Sweets. Yes. Okay, thank you. Continue, please. Um, Dania. Hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. Hello, Miss. Yesterday, I went to the market and I buy uh, juice, milk, <laughs> rice, pineapple, mango, orange, cheese, sweet, and chocolate. Oh, nice. Delicious. Let's go. Next one. Can you continue, please? Wait, se me movió. Eh, Francisco. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Just a moment. I, yesterday I went to the market and I buy uh, ju as, uh, juice, milk, uh, <laughs> rice. Uh -huh. We got a pineapple. Uh huh. Angus. Uh huh. I'm sorry. Mango, mango. Uh -huh. Mango, uh -huh. and then? I forget another one. <laughs> Orange. Uh huh. Cheese. <coughs> yes. Uh, I don't remember the other one. Chocolate. Uh, the chocolate, sweet. And? And? Sweet. It's sweet, it's papa chocolate, and ah, then? Sweet, chocolate, and uh, snack. Is that okay? Vamos a ver. One more because it's too long. Let's see. Next one. It would be Abigail Ponia. Yesterday I went to market market uh -huh. and I buy um juice, milk, rice, pineapple, mango, orange, cheese, sweet, chocolate, snack, and cookies. Hmm, I don't know about that one. I think you're writing. Hmm. Let's see. let's see one more. Jose Ezequiel. <coughs> what are you talking about, teacher? Oh, you just entered me, sir? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. So you cannot participate because we are doing like our memory game in which you have to remember all the words that I was mentioning. Well, we were mentioning. So no, because they were too many words. Había muchas palabras to remember and you have okay. to be friendly. No, but that's okay. That was perfect. Everybody. Okay. Wow, I can see that you have a very good memory. That's amazing because I hope you have the good memory. You didn't write them right. Hmm, I don't know about that. I hope you didn't. Okay, but very good so far. Excellent, thank you for doing it. Now let's go and continue with the next activity. Now, yesterday, as you remember, we were studying a little bit of countable and uncountable nouns. And that's why I was telling you to tell me some, um, some objects from the supermarket. For example, juice. It's a countable or uncountable juice. Uncountable. Ah, very good. What about uh, what was your milk? Uncountable. Uh -huh, very good. And what about pineapple? Countable. Countable. You can count pineapples, right? What about mango? Very good. And what about cheese? Um, no. Contable. No, contable. Un no, contable. Yes, because you have to be mm -hmm, uncountable. Exactly. Why? Because one, it depends on the container and also we, we cannot do it like little by little, right? So it has to be like cheese in general. Then we have chocolate. Contable or uncountable? Uncountable. Non, non countable. Uh huh. Uncountable or non countable. Very good. And what about cookies? Uncountable. Countable. Countable because we can count the cookies one cookie, two cookies, three cookies, and so on. Now, 
uh, to continue with that topic because we didn't finish it, but we are going to finish it right now. We are going to study a little bit of much and many. I know that you already studied a little bit of these. Yo sé que ya empezaron con este tema en module number two, but we are going to continue, okay? Much and many. So many, basically, uh, as you remember, it is used with countable nouns and it's used for questions and also for negative sentences, okay? And here we have some examples. Can you help me to read the first one, please, Jose Ezequiel? The example uh, in question, please. Sorry. Can you help me to read this one, please? Yeah. Um, how many apples do you have? Exactly. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, or which one? Yeah, that one. It's okay, mister. Okay. And this one, can you help me to read Abigail Mejia? <coughs> Abigail Mejia, can you help me to read? Sorry, teacher, tengo problemas con mi compu, estoy tratando de, de arreglarla. Ah, okay, no problem, Miss, I'm sorry. Mauricio? Hi. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, there are in, there are in many apple. Exactly. As you can see here, we have countable things, right? In question and also in negative sentences, okay? Now let's go, vamos a continuar in much. Much, we are going to use it with uncountable things, con cosas que no podemos contar, and also again with questions and negative answers. And here we have some examples. Can you help me to read the first question, please? Miss Elizabeth Pineda. <laughs> okay. How much money do you have? Ah, very good. And the negative form, please. Can you help me, Miss Esmeralda? I don't have much money. <coughs> very good. Thank you. Okay, as you can see here, we have after the uncountable, I mean, under the much, after the much, we have the uncountable thing, right? Después del much, pues utilizamos eh, el, el, el objeto no contable in this case, right? So, yes, let's go and continue. Now, in order to practice a little bit of this, we are going to answer the, uh, if it is many or much for the following, and you're going to help me. Like for example here, can you help me with this one, please, Miss Sandra? Can you read the sentence and give me the answers? Repeat, please, teacher. Can you give me the correct answer, please, Miss Sandra? Repeat. Uh, can you read the sentence and give me the correct answer? Leer la oración y, y la respuesta correcta, please. Okay. There are many. Many pencil on the desk. <laughs> ¿Por qué many? Plural. Mm -hmm. Ah, plural, ¿y qué más? ¿Pero qué más? Es plural, sí, porque es arbe, ¿y qué más? Porque se puede encontrar. Exactly, pero ¿por, eh, ¿por qué más? ¿El qué podemos contar en esta oración? Depends. Exactly, pencils. Yeah. Exactly, that's why we use many. Thank you, Miss Sandra. Let's go, please. Next one, Miss Rebecca. Please help me with the sentence. How much juice did you buy? Ah, why much? Because the juice is uncountable. Yes. Are uncountable. Are or is? Hmm. Is uncountable because we're talking about one thing, right? How much use did you buy? Thank you, Miss. Let's go next one. Miss Abigail Bonilla, help me please with this one. <coughs> How many hamburgers can you eat? Mm -hmm. It's Why? many. Why? Because hamburgers is countable. Exactly. Uh, Thank countable. you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, very good. Excellent. Let's go with next one, Dania. I 
I have many friends. Why many? Because the friends are comfortable. Exactly, thank you. Esmeralda. <coughs> Let me see, I didn't dream. I didn't drink, uh huh. Uh, money. Why many? Because much. Mm -hmm. oh. Why? Why do you think is much? It not many. All right, thank you. Pero por qué tú crees que es eh, many y no much? Porque según lo que yo leí, bueno, lo que yo Intenté entender es que, uh -huh. que si no, quiero ver, I didn't drink water yesterday, que si no tomé agua el día de ayer, no sé si me estoy equivocando. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, but what is the object, cuál es el objeto en esa oración, o sea, el objeto. Water. Ajá, uh -huh, water, water es contable o no contable, es contable o no contable. Sí. Uncountable. Ajá, y como les explicaba al inicio, el, cuando tenemos una cosa incontable or uncountable, we use much, ¿ok? That's okay. why uh -huh, we have much. Very good, thank you for trying, Mrs. Esmeralda. Let's go with Jorge Antonio. Oh, no, mister, I'm sorry. <coughs> ok. No problem. <laughs> no, but in the next one, mister, you're going to participate. Ok, now, what are we going to do? Um, so, um, give me one second. So when you are creating questions with the how uh, many or how much, right? Uh, remember, um, we have two types of questions that we can create, right? Oh, give me one second, please. A second, please, so I can go to my whiteboard. Okay. So when uh, we are using how many or how much, okay? Um, so remember that how many we are going to use it with countable things, right? And then how much we are going to use it with uh, countable things, right? So how do we create a question? Uh, pero ahorita nos vamos a enfocar en cómo crear una pregunta, right? For example, how many, uh, and then we say, there are two ways to create a question. Hay dos maneras de crear esta pregunta. Puede ser con el, con el simple present, o puede ser con el there is or there are, okay? So, but right now we are going to focus in the simple present because it's what you have studied. So how many, uh, for example, mm, oranges, oh, I'm sorry, oranges, do you have okay and then to answer we can say how many oranges do you have i have three oranges right you give a number in this case okay then we have how much as you can see here como creamos la pregunta pues primero tenemos el how many después tenemos nuestro objeto en este caso sería oranges eh, plural, right? Eh, it's, it's countable, es contable, y después utilizamos el um, do. In this case, I have do you have because it's simple present. Now, with how much? First, we have how much, and then we have an, something. Can you mention to me something uncountable or non countable, please? Water. Okay, how much water? Uh, do you drink, for example? How much water do you drink? And then you can say, I drink <coughs> maybe a bottle of water. Of water. Because remember that you are giving extra information since you are talking about, you are using a WH question, right? So, yes. And look at the creation of the question. So we first we have how much, and then we have the object. Primero tenemos la how much, y después tenemos el objeto, en este caso que es incontable. Y después tenemos una pregunta que es from the simple present, right? 
question so far? Any doubts, comments, comments so far? Comments, comments? We are good. O estamos bien? Questions? Remember that if you have any doubts or comments, let me know. <gasps> Attendance section. Se me olvidó la asistencia. What? Please say presente. <laughs> Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Andrea Amalia. Carlos Francisco. Diana Lisbeth. Present teacher. Ay, Tania, lo siento. I am sorry. Dilcia Chamilet. Esmeralda del Carmen. Present teacher. Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. José Ezequiel. Present teacher. Juan José Herrera. Present teacher. Kenia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Mirna Elizabeth. Present, Miss. Thank you. Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. Sandra Vigail. <laughs> Present. Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Stephanie Michelle. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go and move on. Vamos a continuar. And as I told you before, do we have any questions? ¿Tenemos alguna duda o pregunta al momento? No. A question. Tell me, Miss Abigail. Todas tienen español. Yeah, sure, tell me. Cuando se ocupa how much, como en pregunta, por ejemplo, ¿cuánto cuesta esto? Ah. No es necesario pero... poner un no contable. Ah, maybe you can say how much money does it cost? Does it cost? Puede ser money, si quieres. O si no, solo dices how much is it, ¿verdad? Que es lo regular. Pero también puedes decir, esa es otra, otra pregunta, how much is it? Que en este caso, en este, en la segunda, mis... Esa de acá es básicamente cuánto cuesta, ¿verdad? Pero en la primera, how much money does it cost? Aquí, how much money does it cost? Significaría cuánto es, cuánto dinero cuesta, cuánto dinero cuesta. Ajá. O vale, una de los dos. <coughs> ¿Ok? Cualquiera de las dos puedes utilizar. Ahora, el momento de responder, it would be in the first one, en la primera puedes decir, like, for example, uh, it would be, it costs. Vas a responder con el verbo que tienes en la pregunta, vea. It costs, and then you say three dollars, for example. Y en cambio en la otra pregunta. El cost, se le olvidó la S. Ah, oh, thank you, Miss. Cost. Very good, yeah. And in this one, how much is it? It would be? It is uh, $3. Okay. Questions? Okay. I don't know if it is clear for you, Miss, that one. No sé si tenemos alguna duda ahí, Miss. Or we could... Mm, no. Okay. Yeah, that would be the one. Okay, let's go. In the next one, <coughs> uh, give me one second, please. Ah, okay, in the next practice, what are we going to do? So how much or how many? Uh, so we are going to work in prep. Uh, in pair, sorry, you're going to take a picture of a product, you're going to create a questionnaire and you have to use how much or how many to know everything about that product that you take a picture with, okay, of, I mean, you take a picture of. <clears throat> and then we have it, when you have it prepared, you are going to share it here in the class, okay. 
Yes. Do we understand what are we going to do? So you're going to select any product, okay? Any product that you have in your house. And then when you have these, um, like you have your the object. <clears throat> when you have the object, you have to create a questionnaire uh, using how much or how many. Like for example, <clears throat> let's say that I choose a cell phone and then, then I have how much does uh, I had a mistake this one in this one how much does the cell phone cost it will be the correct one let me correct that here for you it would be how much does the cell phone <clears throat> cost and then the other one how many cell phones do you have you have to um, create like maybe three questions it would be for that one, okay? <coughs> and then uh, you have to create like a conversation. And for this, I'm gonna put you in pairs, okay? So you can create this um, conversation. Questions so far? Questions, questions? Or no questions, we are good. No questions. Okay. I'm going to put you in pairs so we can do the, the activity. And you have to do at least three questions, OK? Using how many and how much. Yes? I'm going to give you for these to create the conversations. I'm going to give you three minutes, OK? Three minutes only. So here we go. Mm -mm. Okay, so let's start working. Three minutes only, okay? Un Galaxy Pulse is two. Okay. Va. Galaxy Bull Bull two. Both two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How much? How, how, how much? The first question how, is How Galaxy Bull Two is two. How much? How much? How much? Ese producto tenemos que identificarlo si es contable o no contable. Es contable. The product is contable. For me, for you. Okay. Entonces, hagamos la hora. Teacher, eh, ¿qué vamos a hacer? You have to create a conversation using how many, how much about the product, ¿ok? Tienen que crear una, una conversación utilizando how many and how much acerca de un producto. Ah, ok. So, like, okay. for example, how much is the cell phone? Uh -huh. Ah, the cell phone is $20. How many cell phones do you have? I have three cell phones. De un objeto que tengan en la casa. Ah, ok. okay. Gracias, teacher. Pregúnteme, Sandra, pregúnteme. <laughs> yo, yo lo copié como how, how much that bad cost. Bad cost. Teacher, uh, yes. we don't have the option to share a screen. Uh, right now, no, wait, let me, right now, yes. Ahora sí se los activé. Ah, okay. Okay. My brother had one more side. Mm -hmm. Your... My brother. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Do you have a dog? Yes, I have. I have two dogs. <laughs> two, Why? Two, two days ago is a dead one. One dog is a poop. I am, I am sad. <laughs> Yes, I, I uh, before uh, the two day ago is a uh, dead my 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 dog is a uh, poo poo <laughs> poo is a uh, sad for my dog. It is a small. How many mouses <laughs> do you have? Do you have? Love chair. Una. <laughs> Otra, y le, y le vamos a dar respuesta. No, sí, ah, pues sí, le vamos a dar respuesta. Okay. How much does the coffee, the coffee cost? Entonces vamos a ver, probar. It is three dollars. Okay. Pero la, re la respuesta es con it is, se puede responder así, it is three dollars. Okay. Sí. It is three dollars. How many mouse do you have? Escribiría, I have two mouse. Sí, sí, solo que no recuerdo si mouse tiene otra palabra en plural. Mouse? O oh, solo se mice. le agrega la S. No, it's a ¿verdad plural, que... you know, it's mice. Mice, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eso sería... We need the ten pounds of flour. The flour. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Perfecto. We need. Vaya. Uh, y la última para que nos escuche la la misa. Es <laughs> sería. ¿Cuánto? Quiero ver, aquí lo podemos contar. Podemos decir how many students are in the classroom o in the class. Ah. English class, algo así. ¿no? Podría ser más. How many? Sí, me parece. How many? Quiero ver cuántos. Students. How many students? ¿Cuántos estudiantes? Are... Do you have? Mm -hmm. In the English class. Uh -huh. Oh, in the English. Okay. English class. How many students do you have? Do you have? Could I, could I dream? ¿Cuánto le ponemos? Podría ser... Borrow, no botella. Mm. Okay, I'm talking. Okay. I drink uh, a cup, taza, two cups. Tazas. Mm -hmm. Cup. 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 Good evening. Hello, Miss Abigail. Good evening. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. My wow. computer. Me está dando tantos problemas ahora. Yes, Miss. La estaba Ay. tratando de meter a la otra, al grupo, y no, no pude. I couldn't. Aquí vemos ocho personas. 
No, this is the main, the main classroom is. <laughs> yes, this is the main one. Yeah, don't worry. Hello, welcome. Thank you for doing it. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, so basically what you were supposed to do is to choose an object. A product, okay? A product. But you, I heard some of you. Este, debemos de... <laughs> So, debemos de elegir un producto. Era básicamente de lo que tenían en la casa. But, 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 you were doing very good questions using how many and how much. So, that was perfect, okay? That's the goal, that you create questions, okay? Eh, yo sé que tal vez no eligieron un producto, pero sí pude escuchar que estaban creando preguntas con how many and how much. And that's amazing, okay? But now, right now, I want to listen to one question, at least that you create. It doesn't matter if it if doesn't have a product, but I want to listen, okay? Let's see, let's start with uh, Mr. Mauricio. Mr. Mauricio, can you tell me one question and the answer that you have, please? Mauricio, oh, where are you, Mr. No, venido. Yes, Mr. Mauricio, no le escucho, Mr. I cannot hear you. Perdón, perdón, perdón. No problem, Mr. Uh, Tell me. The, the first question is, uh, mm -hmm. how many galaxies bad is two do you have? Okay. The answer was? The, the answer is, uh -huh. in, I have two pairs. Two pairs of galaxy? Yeah. Oh my goodness, he has a lot of money, right? <laughs> Very <laughs> good, thank you. Okay, okay. Let's, nice. Let's go with Jose Ezequiel and Sandra. Sandra, can you give me the question, please? And the answer. Uh, how much do you pay to computer? Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, is, um, mi compañero no, recordo, no recordaba <laughs> cuánto pago. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just create an answer, me. Solo queremos una respuesta. Entonces, an answer, like any answers. Tell me. Uh -huh. um, it is. It's five hundred. Uh, oh, five hundred dollars. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't know how to mute. Okay, let's go next one. Miss Kenya and Miss Rebecca. Miss Kenya, can you give me the answer, the question and the answer, please, Miss? Okay. Uh, can I share my screen because we select a product? Oh, sure. Yeah, you can share it. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you see my? Yeah, I do. I see it. Okay, we select a bag, uh -huh. and Rebecca and me <coughs> uh, did this question. Uh -huh. The number one is how many colors does the bag have? Uh -huh. It has four colors. Yes. Uh, the second, how much does the bag cost? Uh -huh. It costs twenty-five dollars. And the number three, how many zippers does the bag have? It has three zippers. Yeah, wow, very good. Thank you for selecting the product, Miss. Okay. Excellent job. Okay, let's go with next one. Mm -mm -mm, that's amazing. Mm -mm. Francisco and Miss Abigail, right? We have two Abigail's there. Uh, it would be Francisco, help me. Yes. How many cats you get in the, at, at home? Uh huh, okay. And what she answered, que respondió? She answered is uh, two cats. Two cats, okay. Yeah. I have two cats, yeah, definitely. I, I guess so. Very good. Let's see Elizabeth and Juan Jose. Mr. Juan Jose, tell me. Okay, the first question, mm -hmm. how much does the coffee cost? Uh -huh. The answer, it is $3. <coughs> $3. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, very good. Thank you. The coffee from where, mister? No, because ni en el eh, gasolinera eh, cost two dollars. <laughs> no, mister. <laughs> Let's go with eh, Lady and Michelle. Lady, help me with the question, please. Uh, how much flour do you need in a cake? We need 10 pounds the flour. Ah, very good. And Esmeralda and Dania. Uh, Dania, tell me the question and the answer, please. How many cars do you have? Uh -huh. I have only one car. Exactly, very good. You were doing so fine with the questions, even though I asked you for one product, but I think it's to practice, okay? So you did an amazing job. Thank you for doing it, okay? So now, do we have any questions right now? Questions, doubts, comments? We are good so far. Now let's go. So then if you don't have any questions, we are going to go straight to the um, manual. In manual, we are going to go to page, wait a second, number 10, I guess. Give me one second so I can share with you my, my manual. Okay, so yesterday we did that one. Okay, so here we have the manual. And can you please, uh, Elizabeth, can you help me to read the first questions that we have over there, please, at the beginning? Okay. Mm -hmm. How much does the refrigerator wait? How much does it cost? Mm -hmm. How much is the um, warranty? Uh -huh. How much does it storage? Mm -hmm. Exactly, this is a storage. Thank you. Let's see next one. In the next question for how many, can you help me to read, please? Um, wait, Michelle, please. Okay. Thank you. How many pictures does it have? Mm -hmm. How many colors is this in? Mm -hmm. How many functions? Does it have it, a, how many products do you want? <laughs> exactly, thank you. Those are another example for how many and how much. Very good so far. It's, um, and then here we have some questions that we have to complete with how many and how much. What do you think is, would be the correct answer for number one? So we have uh, how many or how much do you think? It how is? many? Why how many? Because pieces is pieces, pieces exactly pieces. pieces exactly number two, how many or how much? How much? Why? Because it's plural book. How many? Because it's put. Okay. Mm, good idea. Thank you. Any other idea? Okay, so in this case, it doesn't exactly say the object, no exactamente dice el objeto, pero tenemos que inferir que dice... Yes? Maybe Mister? how much because you are uh, talking about the cost? Exactly, I was about to say that. It's how much because they are talking about the cost, the price, the money, okay? So in this case, it would be how much, porque está hablando acerca del precio, que al final dice cost, okay? So in this one, it's a little bit different. It's not exactly with the noun. No va, no tiene que ir, en este caso no va conectado con el nombre. Vea que en este caso es books, okay? Number three, what do you think? How much? How much? Okay, yeah, how much? Number four. How many? How many? How many? Yes. Number five. How much? How, how much? much? How much? Yeah. Very good. And number six. How many? How many? How many? How many? Yes. Very good. A gallons, right? Because they are talking about gallons of water. Está recibiéndose, refiriéndose. Quiero decir, a un cuánto. Well, it would be a dimension. No, not dimension. Weight. No. 
size, size that it will be gallons. And then, very good. <clears throat> and then we already did this one right, the questionnaire, so we are good. And questions so far? Any doubts, comments about this topic? The How many and how much? Many, how much, or no, we are good. Uh, okay, now in the next one, we are going to continue with the next topic. And in the next topic, as uh, we say here, do we have a question one more time? Describe where the different products, it says, uh, your workplace works with. <laughs> are a store okay so for example um the coffee yesterday we were talking about the coffee right wait a second i'm gonna mute you for a little bit okay so where do you put your coffee when you are not there in the office for example este in, in este caso dice des, describe Oh, well, this you have to describe where the different products I your work, work with are a store. Like, uh, guardarlos. When do we, where do you save this? Okay. Like for example, the coffee, where do you put the coffee when you are not in the office? Where do you put it? Mm -hmm. When you are not, you put it maybe in the in the shelves, maybe? In the cabinets? Ahí guardan el café, por ejemplo, cuando no están en su oficina, right? Lo guardan en sus, um, oh my goodness, what is in the cabinets? Estantes. En los cabinetes, uh -huh. estantes. En los estantes, maybe, I don't know. That could be an idea. Or do you have a different idea? Uh huh. In a fry, teacher. In a fry, in a fryer. Yeah. What? Where or in the microwave, right? But what about if you have, let's see, what other products that we were talking about yesterday? ¿Qué otro producto estábamos mencionando ayer aparte? Yo estoy hablando del café, vea, porque me recuerdo que varios estaban hablando del café. But other things. Uh, that you have in your job that you save. <coughs> like for example, for me, the paper in my, my company, we save it in a locker, right? We have lockers. Uh -huh. I save the paper in the lockers. Lockers, desk, uh, uh -huh. in the desk. Uh, the pencils, for example, in the desk. Uh-huh. What else? Another place to save? Drawer. drawer. Ah, drawers. Very good. Anything else? Another place? Yesterday we were calling another one. We were saying about, like, for example, bodegas. How do you say bodegas? Do you remember? Warehouse. Yes, warehouse. There are some things that we need to save in a warehouse, right? And also we have like a cuartito in the in the in the house. I remember what was the name for that? In the safe teacher. Ah, in the safety safety box, maybe. Yeah. Okay, safety box. Or maybe it can be also uh the safe. Good. Uh-huh. Cutboard. What is the cutboard? Ah. Oh. Alacena. Ah, the cutboard or the cabinets, mister, is the same. But because cutboard is como la tabla de cortar frutas. Cutboard. So it would be cabinets, mister. Okay. Uh-huh. That would be the one. <coughs> Very good. And there are many things, right, that we can say. Now. And to start here, we have a conversation that we are going to do. And I want to volunteers, volunteers, raise your hand. that want to help me with the, uh, with the conversation over here. Please use the, don't use the camera. Oh, thank you, miss. 
I have Esmeralda and you be alguien. And Abigail. No. Sí. Okay, Abigail and Esmeralda. Abigail, please start. You are Aaron. Tú vas a ser Aaron, Abigail. Okay, one, two, three, go. The new material used arrive in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use? The leaf. <coughs> they have to use the life, but as and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it, then I going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Very good. Thank you, girls. Exactly. So they're in the conversation they're talking about some things that have an obligation to do, right? Now, according to the conversation, we have some questions over here. And then we have number one, Max and Ivan have to or have to store boxes? Have to. Exactly. Have to. Number two, Aaron doesn't have to or has to help the store boxes? Has to. has to. Yes, has to. Number three, Sam doesn't have to or doesn't has to? Doesn't have has to. Doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. Help. Number four, the secretary have to or has to say that they can. Has use... to. Has to. Has to. Very good. As you can see, they are talking about, as I told you before, about some obligations. And right now we are going to go with that. So we are going to listen to the explanation and you're going to also uh, read, okay? And give me an example afterwards, okay? So let's go. So we are going to start with have to and don't have to, okay? So have to first, okay? Have to, uh, here we have a definition. Can you help me to read please? Juan Jose. Okay, have to. We use have to express obligation where something is necessary in the present or future. Exactly, thank you very much, mister. And yes, it's for an obligation. It could be in the present or if in future, okay? Something, remember that an obligation is something that we need, okay, to do. Okay, so taking and have in mind that. Let's go. And now here are some examples. We have here, the boys have to study hard. You have another one. Let's see. Uh, Rebecca, help me with the next one, please. The boys has to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. Exactly. And there, as you can see, we have a little bit of a difference, right? We have have to and we have has to. <clears throat> and here we have the explanation for the affirmative sentences, okay? So as you can see, first one, we use a subject, then we have have to, and then we have has to, plus a verb and the complement. When do we use have to and when do we use has to? So. Basically, when we use the subject, how you, we, and they, we are going to use have to. And then when we have she, he, and it, we are going to use has to. And here we have an example. For example, uh, help me with this sentence, please, Miss Lady. You have to arrive on time to class. Exactly, you have to arrive on time, right, to classes. Thank you. Miss Kenya, next one. <coughs> he has to brush her teeth every day. Exactly. Thank you, Miss. So remember, when we have these subjects, are you, we, and they, we are going to use have to. If we have she, he, and it, we are going to use has to to express an obligation, right? Give me go and let's go back to. 
Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, so here. Remember, when do we use have to and has to? One more time. To express what? Obligation. <laughs> exactly, to express an obligation. And for I, you, he, I mean, we, they, what do we use? Have, have to, to or have to? Aha, uh -huh, have to, right? And then we use a verb, for example. Let's think about an obligation right now. For example, for me, as a teacher, I, I have to, I have to uh, teach, okay, as an obligation, right? I have to teach. Another obligation mm -hmm. for me, uh, you have to learn. <laughs> Very good. So, and then when we have she, he, and it, what do we use? Has to. Has, Has to. to. Has. Has to. For example, one obligation for Francisco. Francisco has to. Mm, ¿Qué podemos decir una obligación que tenga Mr. Francisco? Francisco work. has. Ah, work every day. Exactly. Francisco has to work every day. Amazing. Very good, very good. Um, yes, so do we have questions so far? <laughs> questions, questions. This is only for positive drives, affirmative sentences, right? No? Here I have, oh, no, wait. Can you express one obligation that you have? Let's see. Miss Rebecca, can you express one obligation that you have in your work, please? I have to write a report. Oh, nice. Thank you for sharing. What about you, Miss Elizabeth? Can you share with me one obligation of your family? Um, <laughs> yes. Your family. Um, take care. Uh, my family? Have to. Remember to use have to. Um, my family has <laughs> to. Uh, no, no sé. <laughs> ¿Qué, ¿Qué tienen que hacer? Like, que me, dímelo. ¿Cuál es la obligación? Okay. <laughs> ah! No, but your mother, your father, your... Uh, what? Yes or no? Okay, but all of your family. Okay, let's... Okay, let's think about... Do you have a boyfriend, girlfriend? I mean, no. <laughs> boyfriend or boss, maybe? Jefe? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. The boss. My boss... ¿Qué tiene, ¿Cuál es la obligación del boss? Has to... Has to. Uh, <laughs> no, sé <laughs> uh, um, uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, su, sef, su jefe con usted. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. Pay maybe. salary. Ah, very good. Has to pay the salary. Very good. Tiene que pagar el salario. Mm. Yes. Definitely. It's an obligation, right? <coughs> very good. Let's go with uh, Jorge. What's an obligation that your mother has? Um, your mother. I don't know. <gasps> what? My mother in in this moment? Uh huh. Um, 
Anything, it, like you can create it imaginary. Ah, uh, or <laughs> um, mm -hmm. work in her house. Ah, very good. For example, um, she has to work in her house. Exactly, thank you. Okay. What, what about you, Miss Mejia? What, tengo tres, a dos tengo ya. Miss Abigail? One obligation, Miss? Okay, Miss Esmeralda. Mm. I'm sorry, Miss Mr. Mauricio. Yes. I participate. Oh, sure. Tell me. Okay. I have to uh -huh. make a production planning. Oh, nice. Very good. Thank you for sharing. Very good. Very good. Esmeralda, do you have an idea now? Um maybe i i had to go to a scanner in the morning go. De ir a, a scan, a scanear <coughs> mm -hmm. documentos en la computadora. oh you have to scan to scan yes. it okay scan. Yes. Uh -huh. You have to do a scanning. Very good. Okay, so best, básicamente, ¿cómo crear la oración para expresar una obligación que ustedes tengan? Recuerden que nosotros tenemos obligaciones tanto en el trabajo como en la casa, ¿verdad? And so, y como ciudadanos también, right? Porque todos yeah. tenemos, like, yeah, we have to, for example, we have to drive carefully. We have to, what else we have to do? We have to respect the traffic lights, right? And we have many obligations during the day and during life, right? Siempre vamos a poner en nuestras, cuando expresemos estas obligaciones, ya sea en el trabajo, en la casa, o como ciudadano, el sujeto, then have, si estás hablando de I, you, we, they, ¿verdad? Eh, y después el to más un verbo. Y si estamos hablando de alguien más, ya sea de una chica o un chico, o de un animalito también, porque recuerden que ellos también tienen obligaciones, uh, you have to, well, no, no exactly right, los animalitos, ¿va? porque no todo. But you have to use the subject, and then it has to, y después un verbo. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, hmm, ¿cuál es la obligación del perro? <laughs> the dog has to... What could be an obligation? Hmm. Move the cola. Uh, no, that's not an obligation. <laughs> maybe the house. Ah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the dog has to walk, maybe. That's an obligation. Porque si los perritos no caminan, they're like, oh, todo lazy and, and like almost dying. Okay, so the dog has to walk. Okay, or maybe, ah, otra obligación, they have to eat. The cat has to eat, right? That's another, because sometimes they don't want to eat. They are too lazy. So that would be the obligation, let's say. Questions, do we have any questions? Preguntas? A question. Tell so me. the difference with between, you know, within, uh -huh, between uh -huh. have to and must to. Must. Uh -huh, must. Must. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh, must. Yeah, thank you, Miss. Very good. Both are for an obligation. Los dos son para obligación. Pero uno es more formal than the other one. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, that's one. Have to, you can break this law as well, and must, you cannot break that one, okay? Con el must es una obligación que no puedes romper, o sea que, uh, por ejemplo, para las, las señales de tráfico. So, tú no lo puedes, no puedes romper esa ley, right? So, you have, you must, you must follow the traffic uh, signs, okay? But with the have to, pero con el have to, it's like, ah, uh, it's an obligation, but no tanto así. Okay, not tan formal, okay? <coughs> that will be the answer, me. Okay. 
Yes. Yes. Any other question? Abigail. Uh, do you have a question, Miss Abigail? Yes, but um, I don't know. Dígame. ¿Y el auto? Mm -hmm. ¿En qué caso se ocupa? <coughs> auto, it's another one that we use for obligations, okay? Auto. Uh, it's a, another one. It says otra. Use it for obligations. But uh, in this one, it's for duties that you have to do as a citizen in a country. Okay. And also, how to, it would be for formal. Okay. Must and how to are for formal, and how to is less formal. It's almost the same. Auto doesn't have a positive way as well. That's another one. Yes. So el auto también es similar al, al have to, pero como les estaba diciendo, esa es una uh, para cumplir reglas también. Más formal todavía, ok. No se puede romper igual el auto. Uh, and then, y es más formal, ok. And then, have to, it would be less formal, ok. <coughs> ok, so I'm going to continue because we are missing two topics. And it's with the don't have to. Don't have to. In this case, as you can see, we are going to express this one. Can you help me to read, please? And help me, please, to read. Um, it would be, can you help me participate today? Uh, help me, Jose Ezequiel. One more time. Yes. Thank you. Don't have to. We uh -huh. use don't have to to express absentia of obligation when something is not necessary to do. Exactly. It's not necessary, right? Don't have to. And then, for example, here we have a sentence. Help me to read the sentence, please, Miss Kenya. The children don't have to go to school today. It's Saturday. Exactly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Then help me with this one, please, Miss Mitchell. She doesn't have to eat all the fruits. Fruits. Okay. Exactly. Fruits. Excellent. And as you can notice, they use don't have to and doesn't have to. Why? Because exactly the same. If we have like this depends on the subject, right? For example, we have I, you, we, and they, we are going to use don't and then have to. It doesn't change. It does, it just changed the auxiliary, right? And then if we have she, he, and it, we are going to use doesn't. Like for example, we have um, these sentences. We have here, we don't have to get up early on Sunday, or maybe we can say he doesn't have to get up early on Sundays, right? So it would depend on the subject that we have, and then we are going to use don't, right? If we have I, you, we, they, we use don't. If we have she, he, or it, we are going to use doesn't. Let's uh, create some sentences for us, okay? Like, wait a second. <laughs> um, for example, we if we have a they, what would be the negative auxiliary? Don't. Don't, exactly. And then have to, right? Have to. Uh-huh, and then, can you give me one verb, please? 
wake up early <laughs> another on Sunday. one no because we already studied that one can you give me another one they don't have to go to bed early <laughs> go to bed early excellent thank you uh that will be one como pueden ver primero tenemos nuestro sujeto después tenemos el don't y después tenemos el have to y después un verbo right and then for uh, if i have for example rebecca rebecca what would be the auxiliary for, for the name rebecca doesn't exactly doesn't and then uh, has to no have to, have and, to and then can you give me one verb any verb one verb me podrían dar un verbo por favor cook dinner eat okay eat dinner okay thank you mister okay tenemos esta rebecca doesn't have to eat. Yeah, but it's important to eat. Don't skip food. Okay, so primero tenemos el sujeto que es Rebecca, que en este caso es el chi, right? Después tenemos nuestro auxiliar, que en este caso sería doesn't, porque estamos hablando de ella. Y después el have to, aquí ya no va a cambiar, sino que se queda igual. No importa el sujeto, lo que importa es nuestro auxiliar acá, el doesn't. Y después tenemos un verbo, ¿ok? So, Rebecca doesn't have to eat dinner. And that will be all for the negative form. <coughs> Can you give me one example, Miss Abigail, for a negative? Uh, uh, well, it's like, tell me one sentence or an idea of something that is not an obligation for you, Miss Abigail. Bonilla. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go mm -hmm. to go to the party. To go to the party. Okay, that is an, an obligation. Very good. Miss Sandra. Tell me one an obligation that your father doesn't have. He uh -huh. doesn't uh -huh. about Remember that it's about your father, right? And the obligation that he doesn't have. I'm sorry? I don't have to, sir, uh-huh. Miss Sandra? Yes. Uh -huh. Your father, this is. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So, sería my father does. My, my, my father doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. <coughs> eh, pero no sé cómo decirle que se tiene que tomar sus pastillas. No se, no se tiene que tomar, porque recuerda que estamos en el nativo. Ah, ok. Entonces, eh, my father doesn't have to drink alcohol. Ah, very good. Doesn't have to drink alcohol. Very definitely. Because of the pastillas. Definitely don't drink alcohol. Exacto. Thank you. Very good. Let's go with Miss Lady. Tell me one obligation that you don't have. Um, I don't have to 
Go to work and fun day. Oh, very good. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go now with Juan Jose. Tell me a little bit about <clears throat> one uh, obligation that your sister doesn't have. My sister doesn't have to run in the morning. Oh, very good. Doesn't have to run in the morning, right? What about you, Francisco? Something about you that you don't have to do. Carlos Francisco. <laughs> no, you miss her. No, 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 Francisco Ernesto. Something that is not an obligation for you. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. I don't have the time for the fix the motorcycle. Uh, you don't have the time to fix. <laughs> I prefer okay. the bicycle. <laughs> oh, okay. So you don't have the time to fix. Or fair. fix uh, motorcycle. Yes, definitely. Very good. Let's go uh, with uh, 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 one more. Let's see, Elizabeth, what about you, Miss? Can you express one, please? Okay. Um, I don't have to prepare the lunch. Oh, nice. <laughs> Why, that's good, Miss. You don't have to prepare something. Thank you for sharing. Okay, give, give me one second. I just want to check on something and then we can continue. Give me a second. Um, mm -mm. Give me a second, please. Give me a, one tiny little second. Okay, yeah, we have to do it with the questions because that is the last one. The question is super easy because with the questions, what do we have first? We have the do or does, o sea, the auxiliary. And then we have the subject and then we have have to and then a complement. For example, do you have to? Or it can also be does. Does he have to? Okay. And so how can we answer to these questions? Do you know how to answer these questions? For example, if I have, do I have to do the do I have to do the cleaning? ¿Cómo podemos responder? Do you know or no? Do I have to do the cleaning? No? Okay. Okay, so depends on the question, right? <coughs> Para responder, dependerá de nuestra pregunta. If I have, do you have to eat the vegetables? Puedes responder, yes, I do. No, I don't. And if you have does, si tenés alguna pregunta con el does, it would be, does he have to eat the vegetables? And then you can answer, yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. But also will depend on the subject, right? Or the name that you are using. The same for here. In this case, because they are using you, right? They use you. Okay, and then you use I for answers, right? Like for example, uh, I'm gonna do, Mr. Mauricio, do you have to do the homework? Yes, I do. Ah, oh, but hmm you better <laughs> no that's i'm just kidding <laughs> tanya do you have to eat dinner every day yes i do very good thank you esmeralda does your sister have to drink water i don't have sister teacher oh brother yes brother. okay does your brother has have to, sorry. Drink water? <coughs> yes, he does. 
Ah, very good. What about you, Jorge? Uh, do you have to watch Netflix? Yes, I do. Oh, it's an obligation? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Good to know that. What about you, mister? It's an obligation. Jose Ezequiel. I like the series. Oh, nice. That's amazing. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Jose Ezequiel, uh, do you have to clean the house? Yes, I had to. Oh, that's good. And sad at the same time. Michelle, do you have to write everything in the class? Again, please. Do you have to write? Write. Write, escribir. Everything oh. in the class? Yes, I do. Ah, good. Let's see, lady, do you have to work every day? No, I don't. <laughs> That's good. Nice, miss. Okay, now let's move on and we are going to do a little bit of practice, okay? So I'm going to show you in the first activity that I have over here. Um, give me one second. So it says, let's practice. In the practice, you're going to give me, for example, what is the correct answer for number one? Can you give me the correct idea, please? What is the order? You have to clean your room. Oh, yes, very good, I'm sorry. But wait, for this one, I'm gonna give you, uh, everybody can write the answers, okay? Ah, oh, no, wait, 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 wait. So I'm gonna give the control for some of you. Voy a, uh, algunos de ustedes van a, van a escribir la respuesta so you can use the, the little, wait, it would be for this one. Uh, Jorge Antonio, can you write the answer for number one, please? No, mister. Oh, no, wait, no, I didn't. Ay, no. Wait, mister, give me one second. No lo mueva, mister, ahorita. Okay. Thank you, mister. Le voy a poner, voy a activar porque no me deja activarle. I don't know what happened. No me deja activarle el, el annotation section. You can oh my goodness, to write so you can write a little bit of, uh, you can do a little bit of practice of writing. But I think I'm gonna have to do it. Creo que no lo va a dejar. Okay, so it was, you have to. Your room. Clean your room, exactly. Number two, what it would be the answer for number two, everybody? Huh? Do they have to play football? Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see number three. <laughs> Everybody. I, I don't. I don't have, have make, make my, my bed. bed. I le faltó el tú. I'm sorry. <coughs> make my bed. Amazing. Thank you. Question so far, everybody. No questions. No questions. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Number four, what would be the correct answer in this one? Mm -hmm. You have to. Oh, give me one second. Sure. Uh -huh, has to. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then? Yes, very good. Thank you, Miss. Number five, everybody, can you help me? Does, does, does he, he have to cut the grass? The grass. Yes, cut the grass. Number six. She, she has, has to, to study, study every, every day. day. Yes, thank you. Excellent, everybody, wow. Okay, let's move on. And then here, uh, we are not going to do that one because we are going to do something in the guía, in the manual, sorry. So here, uh, again, we are going to continue with 
have to and has to. Oh, we already did that one. Here we have some more sentences in affirmative. Can you help me to read the sentences here in affirmative, please, Mr. Francisco? Yes. Thank I you. have to store this package. They have to take everything to the warehouse. We have to ask the permission. The truck driver has to bring the material. He has to use the lead. Yes, very good. Thank you. Next one. Can you help me to read, please? Me, uh, no, it would be Kenya. Negative sentences, please. Negative. I don't have to store this package. They don't have to take everything to the warehouse. We don't have to ask for permission. The truck driver doesn't have to bring the material. He doesn't have to use the, like, the lift. The lift. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Okay, now continuing with the practice, as you can see here, we have it says complete the following sentences in use, uh, using the correct form of have to. So it means that you can use has to or have to. For this activity, I'm going to give you three minutes so you can complete the sentences and then we are going to check. Remember that you can write it in your notebook or you can do it in your manual, okay? So I'm gonna give you three minutes so you can complete it. If you finish, please let me know and you can say finish, okay? So please work, write it down, please. Escríbanlo ya sea en su manual o en el cuaderno, por favor. Estas cinco oraciones utilizando la forma correcta del have to o el has to. Three minutes. Right. Thank you, Miss. There. One more second. Okay, great. Thank you. I'm going to give you one more minute. Not. 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 Okay, let's see. Number one, what do you have for number one, uh, Mr. Mauricio? Right, Mister? Who's that for committee? Okay, number right. one. Mm -hmm. The company mm -hmm. have to buy new material. Okay, new material. Thank you. Let's see number two. Can I can? Can you raise a hand who we'll finished so you can help me? Jorge, number two. Your partners have to peel up containers. Exactly, pile up. Pile up uh, the containers, right? Number three, can you help me? Uh, it will be Abigail Mejia. The, the agent have to not sing the letters. Have not. Así. Have to not. Have to not. Mm -hmm. yes. 
letter. Mm -hmm. Ok, después vamos a corregir, ok. Don't correct them yet. No las corregimos uh -oh. todavía, ok. Number four, volunteer. Has Miss. Mr. Bonilla, ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> Design. Design. New. Models. Okay. And number five. The group, the group doesn't have, have to work until late. Okay. Don't have. Don't have to work. Doesn't. to work until late. Thank you, very good. Okay, now let's check. Let's check the answers. Vamos a chequear las respuestas. But let's start with number one. Number one is, wait, give me one second. Okay, so number one, it would be, wait, this is page, what page is this one? Not well. Okay, so number one, it was has to, okay? It's not have to, it's has to. Has it, to. Uh-huh, has to, because we're talking about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, it mm -hmm. has to. Number two, yeah. uh, it's correct, this is good. Number three, eh, this one, the agents. ¿Qué está incorrecto acá? Vamos a ver si alguien lo identifica. The don't agents have, don't have, eh, tenía que ser. Don't have, to sign the letter. don't have to sign. Exactly. Don't have to. Remember that is the negative form. Esa sería la forma negativa, right? And then we have number four. Mr. Bonilla has to design, very good. And the last one, the group doesn't have to work on your lake. Okay, so the other ones were perfect. Very good, and thank you for helping me doing this activity. Do we have any questions right now? Questions? Or no questions. Preguntas al momento, chicos. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, miss. In negative, always use have to. In negative, sí. In mm -hmm. negative, yes. Okay. In mm -hmm. negativo, sí, no cambia el have to. Lo que cambia es el don't o el doesn't. Okay, um, I have a question. Tell me, Mr. Becker. Why number five is does it not have? Because the group is they, no? No, the group, <coughs> it has to be the group. Mm. It's referring to one means, that's why. It's, it's referring to, uh, for example, it in here again, it, ah, but it has to be they, right? It's true. Yes. The group, the group. Pero no es a they, está refiriéndose como a, a you maybe? El grupo. Ajá, el grupo, el grupo, it, ajá. So it's a thing. Singular. Ajá, singular. <clears throat> or you, por eso le digo, so you don't have to work until late. Let's change it then. Even though I was... I, mm -hmm. I think it's the same the family. Family is... ¿Cómo le puedo decir? Familia es una palabra en singular. Uh -huh. Aunque digamos familia se sabe que es un montón de personas. Ah, uh -huh. es fact. Yo lo conformo a bastantes personas, pero la palabra en sí es singular. <laughs> exactly. I was thinking the same. That's why I was saying uh, it. Uh, I'm referring to one group. Uh, like el grupo es like esos. Oh, no, well, you know, it would be like esos, right? Um, 
and then that's why it's like an one singular thing as you were saying como un in, una, una cosa en singular wow. entonces el grupo so let's leave it dozen until late teacher mm -hmm. no es un pronombre colectivo exactly mister thank you it's a wow. it's a collective now like for example family group or maybe in also students, maybe it's another one. Everyone. Everyone, it's another one, collective. Mm -hmm. sí. Everything, exactly. Thank you, mister, for the word. I forgot about them. The collective nouns. Very good, very good. Entonces, cuando es colectivo, o sea, de un grupo, se refiere a eso, a un solo eso. Entonces, en este caso, y de hecho, cuando vean family, cuando vean everyone, everything, eh, students, eh, group, entonces vamos a pensar en uno solo, ¿verdad? So, entonces sería is, ¿ok? The same company. Ajá, uh -huh, it's the same for company. <coughs> ok. And then, okay, let's go for the next one, okay? And then the next one, what are we going to do here? We have one more practice, but before we do the practice, we are going to have a tenant section one more time. Vamos a tener sección de asistencia. Please say presente. Abigail Mejia. Andra, Andrea Amalia. Carlos Francisco. Daniel Lisbeth. Present. Dilcia Yamilet. Esmeralda del Carmen. Present teacher. Francisco Ernesto. Present. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. José Ezequiel. Present. Juan José Herrera. Uh, wait, but I remember Juan José was here. Present, sorry, teacher. Present. Ah, you have a problem, mister. Kenya Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Lady Xiomara. Present, teacher. Mauricio Antonio. Present, teacher. Mirna Elizabeth. Present, miss. Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. Sandra Vigail. Present. Sandra Patricia. Present, teacher. Stephanie Michelle. Present teacher. Very good, thank you. Okay, now to continue, I have a little bit of practice and the practice is going to be about, give me one second. Give me one second, please. Okay, so everybody is going to think about, okay, the obligations that you have regarding your house, okay? Like you have to write it down like that, like a SpongeBob that he's doing everything that he can to finish up the, the obligations that he has. For example, I have to, the obligations that you have and the obligations that you don't have. For example, I have to clean the house. Obviously that's one obligation that I have. I don't have to cook because I sometimes don't cook. I only clean. Okay, and also, for example, another obligation in my house, I have to wash my clothes, okay? And like so on. Remember that it, they could be positive or negative sentences, but you have to, um, you have to give uh, these ideas here in the class. And for that, I'm going to give you Three minutes so you can write down the answers, okay? Well, you got, you have to collect your ideas, please. <laughs> I'm gonna give you five minutes for this.
Are you ready or not yet? <coughs> not yet. Okay, great. Thank you. Teacher? Yes, mister? Tell me. How many sentences? At uh, least five, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Finish teacher. Okay, great. Okay, let's see. I want to listen to some ideas of you of the obligations that you have in your house or your job, maybe. I don't know if you write them down. Can you share with me, Miss Esmeralda, please? What are um what obligations do you have? <clears throat> I had to clean the house, I had to do the laundry, I had to do the wash the dishes. I had to but clean. Uh, negative. I'm sorry. Negative form. Do you have something that you don't you don't, you don't do in your house? Mm. Something that you don't do in your house, like ah, oh, that's okay. Something that you don't do. Don't do. Maybe cook. You don't cook? For example. Oh, okay. That's good, Miss. <laughs> yeah, that could be. Thank you. Uh, let's go. That was amazing. Thank you for sharing, Miss. Let's go with uh, uh, Lady. Can you share with me one sentence that you do, you have to do, and one no? Don't okay. do it. And I had to feed the dogs. Okay. And I don't have to buy bread. But ah, bread. <laughs> bread. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Uh, let's see, Mauricio. Tell me one and one, please, that, uh, of the obligations in your house. Uh, my obligation is I have to bath my pets. You have to bathe? Yeah. Bathe your pets? Uh -huh, and pets. The Pets. Pets. Uh -huh. yeah. And what about? I don't. I don't have to laundry. Do laundry. Don't laundry. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Mr. Jorge? Um, I have to clean the yard. Ah. Okay. I have to buy the supermarket. You have to. Mm -hmm. to you have to do this. Over? Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't have to wash the dishes. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, that's good. I don't have to cook. Okay, that's good too. Thank you for sharing, Mister. Okay, what about uh, Mister Francisco? Uh, I have to work every day. Uh huh. Uh, let me see. Let me see. For negative, uh, I don't. I, I don't uh, to work uh, tomorrow. <laughs> you don't have the word to work. <laughs> okay, thank you. And, and now, okay. 
And now, uh, in order to practice a little bit more, okay, the, this will be the last practice. What are we going to do? Uh, oh no, we are going to do two more practice, sorry. But in this one, because we already practiced the writing. Something that I forgot to tell you is that I would like you to send me a picture on the group, on the WhatsApp group of the sentence that you just write, okay? De las oraciones que acabamos de escribir, quiero que me envíen una foto. O si les escribieron un mensaje también, me la mandan ahí en WhatsApp, pero quiero chequearlas, okay? So please send them. Because I forgot to ask you that. Me olvidó pedírselas. I always check like that. Siempre chequeo así porque pues, it's no other way. <coughs> Send me a picture, please, of your sentences because I want to check them out. I'm going to be waiting. Had to be a group. Yes, please. Es que en el otro, cuando los envían en privado, se me van hasta abajo. So, in the group, I'm going to check them, porque los tengo en principal. So, yeah, I have you pin. Don't be afraid. It's, it's just for you. Remember that that group is for us, for the class, right? So, don't be afraid to send them there. No tengan pena. Oh, very good. Thank you. Oh, to wash. <coughs> okay. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Miss Dania. Thank you, Mr. Mauricio. Thank you, Miss Lady. Thank you, Miss Sandra. Uh, thank you, C. I don't know who is C, but okay. Very good, Mr. Jorge Antonio. Thank you. Mr. Francisco, thank you. Thank you, Miss Kenya. Okay, very good. Okay, now, ah, Jose Ezequiel, what happened? You're going to send the questions here? Or, or you are the one with C? Mr. Ezequiel? Sorry. Usted que tiene C en WhatsApp? No. Oh, I thought you were. I'm sorry. Uh, very good. Thank you. Um, okay, now. In order to practice a little bit of the questions, what are we going to do? We are going to do like a little bit of a chain. Vamos a hacer como una cadenita. So, yo voy a empezar preguntando eh, a alguien y esa persona va a continuar con otra persona, a quien ella quiera. Ok. Uh, or, or better, I will tell you. O mejor yo le voy a ir diciendo a quien le van preguntando. Ok. You say, do you. Ok. Uh, for example, Mr. Mauricio, do you have to clean the house? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mauricio. You ask Miss Abigail Mejia. Abigail, you have to uh, cooking. Cooking? You have, yeah. Yes, I do. Do you have to cook? Cook? Cook, cook, cook. Uh -huh. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. Thank you. Let's go, um, Abigail to Dania, please. Miss Abigail? Puede ser cualquier pregunta. Anything, Puede ser cualquier pregunta. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Um, I have to wear every day. No, I don't wear every day. Okay, thank you, Miss Miss Dania. Do a question to Miss Sandra, please. Sandra, do you have to eat lunch in the home? Yes, yes, I do. Thank you, Miss Sandra. Do a question to Miss Rebecca, please. 
Uh, Miss Rebecca, you have the supermarket tomorrow? No, I don't. Thank you. Miss Rebecca, can you do the question to Miss Elizabeth Pineda, please? Elizabeth, do you have to wash the dishes? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Elizabeth Pineda, can you do a question to Miss Lady, please? Okay. <laughs> do you have to clean your bedroom? Yes, I do. Okay, Lady, do a question to Mauri. Ah, uh, no, Mauricio, uh, to Esmeralda. And uh, do you have to buy food on the weekend? No, I don't. Okay. Esmeralda, do a question to um, Kenya, it would be. Okay. Do you have to water the garden? One more time, please. Sorry. Do you have to water the garden? Si ah, jardín. Exactly. Yeah. Water the garden. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. Now, Miss Kenya, can you do a question to Mr. Francisco? Francisco, do you have to spend time with your family on weekends? Why do you listen to like that? ¿Qué pasa? Sorry, I don't understand. Please uh, repeat again. <laughs> yes, Miss, what happened? Do you have like a speaker? ¿Tienes como un speaker, Miss? Do you have to spend time with your family on weekends? Okay. Do you have to spend time with your family on weekends, Francisco? <coughs> spend time, pasar tiempo <coughs> with your family on weekends? Mm, no, with us, and it's uh, sometimes. No. <laughs> ¿Cómo sería? So, ¿Cómo sería the correct answer? No. Oh, I don't. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Francisco, Francisco, can you do a question to Mr. Jorge, please? Right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> about anything, about, remember that it's an obligation. I, I, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I made the question with, uh, do you, do you have them, do you have to make the, Homework? Yes, I do. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Jorge. Can you do the question to Mr. Juan Jose, please? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Juan Jose, uh, <clears throat> do you have to wash the dishes in your house? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. ah, Very. Nice. <laughs> He's a house man. <laughs> Very <Yeah. laughs> good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So as you can see, we already learned. We practice a little bit of for the have to and has to, right? Uh, do we have any questions so far, everybody? Questions? Tomorrow at the beginning of the class, one more time, we are going to do a little bit of a conversation in pairs as well as we were doing at the beginning of the class today. So uh, thank you everybody for coming today. Okay, I don't know if somebody wants uh, tutorials right now or he has uh, like a question right now or doubt that wants to stay, que se quiera quedar or no. Like, remember that it's 10 minutes for any question, any doubt. Who? Volunteer, quien se quiere quedar? Who, quien se quiere quedar? Like somebody, raise your hand. Or nobody. 
Okay, so thank you everybody for coming. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. <laughs> and enjoy your night and have a good day tomorrow too. Bye bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Bye. Good, bye. Night. Bye. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Take care. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, Mister. <laughs>